Hi Brownie class, hope you're all well and enjoying this glorious weather that we have had over this past week. Hopefully you've been able to get out and enjoy the sunshine. Um, we have had some lovely emails, we've had phone calls, we've chatted to some of you and it's been great to hear what you've been getting up to. So as always I will start my YouTube clip with pictures, photographs of what you and the rest of your class have been doing over the past week. Here is this week's book recommendation from myself. It is a book recommendation, but it's also an author recommendation. Uh, this author I read when I was a child and thoroughly enjoyed his stories and it allowed me to explore my imagination and my creativity. So I am recommending The Hodge Hegg, which is by a, an author called Dick King Smith. Max the Hedgehog who becomes a Hodge Hegg, who becomes a hero. Max's family dreams of reaching the park, but no one has ever found a safe way of crossing the very busy road. Young Max, who is brighter than the average hedgehog, is determined to solve the problem. It's a great book, it's a lovely read, it's about animals, it's got a feel-good, happy um, plot to the story. It's also quite a short story and quite um, an easy read. So if you haven't picked up a book for a while, I recommend you reading The Hodge Hegg um, to get your thirst back into uh, reading. My recommendation this week for top tips for isolation. So, I'm going to suggest that you revisit, reuse and have a look at something you haven't touched or played with for a very long time. I've made this suggestion to my children a few times. Go in your room, go in your playroom, wherever you keep your toys, wherever you keep your things and pull out something you haven't played with for a while. Pull out something that hasn't caught your attention, that you've kind of almost forgotten about because you'll soon discover why you had that toy in the first place. So a few things that we've been rediscovering. We've been rediscovering all our different board games. So um, every week we've been trying to get out a different board game and replaying games that we haven't played for ages. And actually we've had really good fun doing that. With the lovely weather outside, bubbles are great. Lots of you probably will have some bubbles lying around or you can make bubble mixture with a little bit of fairy liquid and some water. Um, you can blow through your fingers, you can get them into the air, bubbles are great. How about that train set that you always used to love playing with and haven't made for ages? Have a go at making it. How, can you make it different? Can you remake it? Uh, another suggestion, I'm sure some of you have got some action figures, some toys out there that haven't seen uh, a bit of love and a bit of fun and a bit of adventure for a while. Go and have a go at those. And then my other suggestion is something that was incredibly, incredibly popular and it's everybody must have some stashed away somewhere. These things. This is the incredibly long loom band that we have been making here. So the loom bands, these little things, great fun, but I bet they're stashed away. Maybe pull something out like that that you haven't played with. Um, there's lots of other suggestions as well. But my top tip for isolation this week is go and have a look at something that you haven't touched for a while. Could be crafty, could be creative, could be a toy, could be something that you used to love playing with and you haven't played for a while. I think as soon as you have a look at it and you start playing, you'll remember and rediscover um, why you loved it so much and you can have some fun with it again. So that's it for me for this week. Um, hope you have a good week. Don't forget, check out the school website. That's got all the work on there for you to do this week. Um, if you need paper packs, paper copies of anything that's on the website, just come into the office and you'll be able to pick a pack up. So uh, please email us with anything that you um, do this week. We'd love to hear from you. Listen out to the phone. Miss Warburton and myself will be giving you um, a ring so we can um, catch up and hear all your news. Um, other than that, Stay well, stay safe, take care and see you soon.